Okay, um, yeah, at this point, you're, you're hearing it, right? Uh, I just muted the Elgato so that Nintendo wouldn't be dicks uh, when I inevitably up this to, you, to YouTube. So, I'll have the Elgato back on in just a couple seconds. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Welcome back to that thing I do on weekends. And something something words something yada yada game uh super castlevania 4 as i promised yesterday a uh, game i've never played before it's been a long time since i played a good platformer other than you know rogue legacy so where's my remote and i kind of wanted to give this a shot on stream because why not you know i've had the super uh the snes classic sitting around for a little bit and didn't want to just collect dust or anything and figured it'd be a good opportunity to play a game I've never really dealt with before. So, one moment as I unmute the classic and start the game. And... Damn it. Oh no, there's a sound from my childhood. Oh my god. Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Welcome back, King Thunder. It's going great. Soaking in this title screen here. Oh wow. I'm assuming it wants me to press start at this point, but, you know, <laughs> figured I'd, um, give it a second to roll. Um, yeah, I'll sit and watch this, this part just real quick, because, like I said, I've never even started this game before. I've never fired it up or anything. The hell? Blood will tell. Gotcha. I should probably be reading this text crawl, but it's already gone so gone so long. Nah, I'm gonna let this go. Okay, so. Okay, so Dracula's a dick that keeps showing up every century. Huh. And 100 years, so peace time is up. All right. dark and eerie night. I love this already. Okay, Simon Belmont. I'm sure there's some reason for Simon to, to be called upon again, as they said. Um, but if it's been a hundred years since the last time Dracula's there, I'm already curious as to how that works. But, you know, we are already dealing with vampires, so I'm going to assume magic until further notice. Okay, restoring peace to Transylvania. Let this play out, and when I see the title screen again, I'll go ahead and start proper. Okay, no, not, letting, not, not spoiling gameplay yet. Okay. Okay, which button am I supposed to... Oh my god. <laughs> Back when games actually used the start button. Okay. Jump. Whip. Huh? Oh, okay. 
Item sound. Okay. Okay. Reboot. Okay. Yeah, I remembered something, reading something about this game being a reboot of, like, the original Castlevania or something, so I guess I picked a good one to start off on. No, none of that title screen. Shame on you. 1991. So this is almost a launch title coming. <laughs> coming. Back. I mean, it's a little late in the year. I did see the uh, date that this came out. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to... Hmm. Wondering if I should just go with a boring approach. Um, so yeah, I've I've never played this game before. I'm already liking the music because um. Okay, Trevor Bell. Okay. I'm trying to think because um. Well, you can tell where all my coffee went today. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just go with the boring route with the name thing real quick. Just, uh... Ah! What the... Okay. Ah, where's the V? Okay. Okay, all that vampire fighting his family's known for, you know. You gotta, gotta have that whip there, but, you know... Oh! Oh, yeah, he does have pants. Okay. That last angle was just kind of odd. The hell? Okay. Now, I, I remembered um, a little while back there was uh, someone who released a demo of... Oh, I'm assuming I have to like hold up. Okay. Gonna take a little getting used to. Uh, oh. I was uh, watching someone's... Oh, there's the jump. Someone made a demo in Unreal Engine, a little practice exercise, um, and they remade like the first level of the first Castlevania in Unreal Engine. It was pretty cool. So I, I kind of remember from that the whole thing about the, uh, the whip. Let's see, start on the blank space. Okay. Oh. And I also remember reading that uh, original versions, this guy couldn't do this, so it's nice to have the eight-way whip. It's like, take that, Mega Man. Oh! Oh. Yeah, the whip timing is still going to take a bit of getting used to. Okay. God, I love this music. Oh! Damn it! Uh... It hasn't been so long since I've played a platformer that I don't know what a hole in the ground is. I just... Wow, how did I miss that? Ugh. Let's see. Ooh, points. Okay. Because I'm not jumping across that. There's no way. Whoop. Let's see. Whip power-ups, hearts, sub-weapons, and... Alright, okay. Oh, I need to pull out from behind there in a minute. Oh. And if I'm not mistaken, this is one of those one of the games that kind of popularized the idea of wall chickens, so I, I seem to remember that coming up the most in uh, playthroughs of this game. Okay. Well, I'm eh, not going to worry about going, behind, going out the front front side of the door. I just want to kind of get the hang of using this whip here. Okay. Ah, here we go. Whoop. Let's see. Oh. Holy, uh... There we go. Oh, pork chops from candles. And hams. So it's kind of like Final Fight in that regard, too. Those are some odd ways to get healing items. I mean... Oh! Behind... Oh! Probably should have waited a second. Ah, crap. Cut that out. Oh! 
Okay. Already making the same mistake I do in Armored Core and walking in, in, right into the bullets. What the hell is that thing? Um. Huh. Oh. All right. I just know someone has like a metal cover of this sitting around somewhere. They're they bust out there. I'm gonna have to look that up. Oh crap! Speaking of Rogue Legacy, holy shit! Oh, nice to see these guys got jobs after this game was completed. Oh. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, he aims a little lower. Um. Oh, so hold the the weapon button down. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I kind of got spoiled a little bit on some of the level stuff due to um uh, looking for images for a thumbnail for this when I put put on when I've been able to put, yeah. When I eventually put this on YouTube, um, so yeah, ooh. So yeah, some of it I, I saw the uh, make use of the Mode 7 chip for some of the rotation and scaling in the backgrounds. So that's gonna be fun when I get to that, to that. Oh. Okay, down. Okay, he takes multiple hits. For, for a second I was thinking he was just taking, gonna take a low hit. I'm already... Just really low on health. Stupidly low. Okay. Ooh, jump, and yeah. This guy's jump arc is kind of, um... I'm not used to his jump arc, this is... any kind of map? Because I know these games tend to have maps in them eventually. Oh. Ah. Got some bionic commando goodness going on there. I have to remember that. Oh. Boss. Oh. See this guy's all about. Whoa. Knock that off. Okay. Alright, figure out how to get the noodle to... Ah, here we go. Ah, health, yay. Oh, you can retract the thing, too. That's... I have to give this game a little bit more credit, too, because, I mean, that... I mean, because I mean, I've only just started, so I can't pass judgment on it really at all, but... Yeah, teaching the mechanics this early and this well. Ooh. Gradually introducing you to the th all the things. Okay, what in the world? Oh. Just explode into bones. Oh, mid-air mid -air jump control. Thanks for that one. That's, that's going to come in handy, I, th I think. Oh. That, that jump arc, it just seems oddly short at first, but... Oh. Now, do enemies respawn as I go back to their... Okay. I should be uh, paying a bit of attention to this game's mechanics, too, for um, study for Game Maker, because when I'm done with this, when I start uploading these games, I'm going to uh, fire up Game Maker. Oh! If that is what I think it is, I might want to hold on to that. Okay. Oh, what the... Okay, so that's... So much for holding on to that. Okay. What the hell those things are. Ah, there we go. Okay, so you, you get like right under them is, is these ones. Activation window. Okay. Oh. I have to keep that in mind. I was uh, expecting it would be more like thwomps when you get like right next to where they would... Oh. Whoop. Okay. 
Moonwalk, okay. I might have to experiment with the... Uh, with that moonwalk bit, because uh, that, that just sounds... that sounds great. Oh, crap! Ah. Horse heads. Reminds me of one of my favorite bits from The Simpsons when Homer was a food critic. Okay. I'll have to look that moonwalk thing up, because that just sounds great. Oop! Help. Nope! Cut that out. Okay. Oh. Yes, so uh, the, the right shoulder button here, it, said, it did say R in the uh, options menu. Oh, what the hell is that? And it doesn't look like you can jump on stuff. Oh, son of a... Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. Um, what the hell? Doesn't look like you can jump on stairs, though, is uh, what I was about to say before I... plummeted to my death. Mm. Horror button. Okay. Little flying Medusa heads. Oh, oh I could have used that. Oh, whoa. Crap, move. Okay, don't stand on the brown... the light brown ones too long. Oh! Oh! Like that. Okay, uh... looks like I'm out of lives. This is gonna be interesting. Oh. The hell? Oh, right. Yeah, that'll... that'll be useful. That's about to be really useful. Use the flail and noodle mode. That's so cool, though. Ah! What the hell? Seems like it... takes... like it deals less damage when you do that, though, but... Yeah, the utilitarian purpose cannot be over uh, overstated. Okay. Ah, stopwatch. Okay. Okay, that's a knife. What the hell? Okay. Noodle! Taste my steel noodle! Yep! Okay. So it just insta-turns if you jump on it. Okay. Okay. Oh! Damn it! I am not keeping enough of a look on my surroundings. Oh! Possible cutscene time? Or just a boss? Alright. Alright. What the? Okay, that's some... Oh! Well, that was some Mega Man antics. Okay, infinite continues. All right. Good to know because uh Oh, I didn't I didn't even notice a timer in the corner. Yeah, this brings me to something I was kind of uh wondering about doing later on in streaming um just like cuz I eventually want to add more days where I do more stuff and this is just a little idea I was kind of tossing around in my head cuz this game really really feels arcadey and I was thinking of like just doing like a day at the arcades thing like uh, have four attempts on a game or so however many till till a game over just pretend I have quarters or something put like a counter on the screen and see how far I could get into a game before I run out of quarters oh. and then like move on to the next game oh what the, what the hell is that oh give me what the? No, no, you cut that out. Little purple hands. Ugh. Bad touch. Bad touch. And I like these candles in the trees too, because uh, oh. you know, the most logical place for them. 
I love I love uh, 90s level design though. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be poking fun at like no matter what game I'm playing things like the you know barrel uh, barrel chickens and wall hams and stuff. But but I I just love that kind of stuff. It's just it's goofy greatness. Okay. Ah, uh, the classics like the Mega Man uh, boss door jump. Let's see. I'm going to have to experiment a little bit more with my whip for that, I think. Oh! Noodle whip! Yeah! Whoa, what the hell? Little dinosaur things. What the... <laughs> oh, wow, this is great. Oh! Let's see if I can find Lakitus around here somewhere. Uh. Okay. Ah, there's the... Eels, I kind of needed those. Oh. Oh. Noodle jump. Ah. Are these platforms or are they just. Yeah, they're just background. Okay. Oh. Like semi visible swamp things coming out. What the? Okay. And zombies. Oh, crap. What the? Oh man, the clouds in the background too. Yeah, Konami doing great work with the the backgrounds. Lots of lots of visual elements in here. It's, it's... Oh, okay. Oh, ha! Silly buzzard, you stand no chance against my noodle whip. Uh, whoa! Essential vampire hunting gear. You know, forget all that garlic and crosses stuff. Oh, that garlic and crosses stuff. You know, because uh, you don't crack that whip. You're doing ah shit. Crack that whip. Oh, Let's see. Ooh, here we go. That. Oh, you frog, bastard frog. Nope. Oh boy. Devil May Cry 1. Oh. Oh, I forgot Sparta was playable in that in that. It's really awesome. Level 16. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sooner or later, I'll probably re revisit the Devil May Cry games kind of as like a one or two off thing, you know, because I don't, I don't want to be just done with them because those are really fun games. I really liked, I liked Devil May Cry 1 and going through 3, that was, that was a blast, so. The extra features unlocked, I will, I will definitely be keeping my saves for those. And, uh, gotta remember to get a new memory card for that, um, as well, because, uh, I've only got two memory cards, and sooner or later, I am going to run out of space. Okay. Yeah, level 16. Trying to remember about where that was. Hmm. Ah, tickle, tickle, tickle fight! Aha! Yeah, the scrolling in this game. Yeah, that brings me on to the topic of emulation, because I used to use... Uh, couple emulators back when I was in high school I was playing around with them a bit and um, God, what was it learned a little bit about how the Super Nintendo works uh, through those and all the, the background layers and stuff yeah I learned at the time that you know Sega Genesis had like seven that you can uh, enable or disable in the emulators Super Nintendo only had five but they really knew how to use them each system had something really good up on the other one, and uh, I think with with the SNES, one of the big things it had over on the competition was the sound chip. Because I mean, whoa, listen to this music! But oh, damn it! Gone. I liked you in Tekken, but not here. Oh, I was more of a Waran guy. Materia. Mm. I don't remember 
how far I got into Final Fantasy VII. I don't remember ever dealing with Materia. Can't be much help there. Okay, whoop! It, mm. Trying to pay attention to this health system because I see the little up. Oh, I did it again. Oh! Dick frog! You're a dick! Because I know you gotta collect the hearts, but I don't wanna see how much of a space it refills when you collect enough. Ah, damn it. Oh, nightmare. That's. Oh, that boss. Holy crap. Hmm. I remember being super tense for that entire fight. Uh. Good stuff, though. Oh. Oh, crap. And I'm about to die. I need to get to a later scene pretty soon. A later oh, screen transition, I should say. Oh, noodle. Whoop. Let's see. Okay. See that little wood bridge there? Here we go. Oh, that's a long way to go back. Aw, oh, man. We're cracked case. Oh. I never paid enough attention to notice if, like, PS1 jewel cases were any different from regular CD cases, but it always didn't... It always seemed like there was, like, no difference, so hopefully you can get a replacement jewel case for that pretty easily. But I'll tell you this much, though, I always hated those, oh, crap, slimline uh, jewel cases. Those were, those were awful to me. It's like you'd look at them funny and they'd break. Oh, nope. Gotta be a little bit more careful. Kill those damn frogs. Okay. I have no idea what this little plus, the little X-shaped thing is. I'm assuming some kind of large throwing star. Okay, yep. Oh, there we go. So you can get them back. I was kind of worried about that. Oh, stop jumping over pits in the dumbest possible fashion. Okay, got it. Whoop, and... Aha! Let that knife disappear because I like this thing already. And okay, whoop. Mm. Yes, health. Whoop. Asshole. There you go. Stupid bird. I only want the ones that are already cooked. You get in line. Whoop. Okay. Okay, new games. Uh, yeah, I tend to put um, new games. It's like, unless if... It's... Oh, crap. I hope I don't have to go back too far, but I'm, I'm dead. Um, if it's a new game that I'm really interested in... Oh, my God. Then I'll play it, like, right away. Kind of poke around with it, which I'll probably be doing less now that I, like, am streaming. But, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of games off of Humble... So, a lot of those just instantly went, yeah, backlog. When I get bored with one game, I'll just load up a new one. Let's see. Pause for signature. Okay. Yeah, that Medusa. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I just got wrecked by that Medusa. That... Uh, oh. I keep doing that. I need to stop doing that. I remember that watch is right there, and I've wasted it every time. But yeah, I have, right now, an enormous backlog. Um, thanks to a lot of uh, Humble Bundle and Steam deals. Stuff like uh, free game giveaways and 
things like that. Oh. So, a number of those will probably wind up on stream or on YouTube. Um, if I start getting more users and, and, and more uh, you, uh, users on Twitch watching, you know, more viewers and stuff, I probably should use that word first, but still waking up. If I get more people watching, you know, I'll probably wind up adding considerably more time then. Uh, during the... Stop doing that. Start thinking. And so I'll probably get to play even more of the, the games and stuff in my backlog on stream. Uh, there's... There's one game in particular that I'm probably just going to play, like, as a one or two off. And it's one I've already beaten before. It's just a game I really love. A PC uh, strategy game called uh, Faster Than Light. And I really love it because it... One, it can play on pretty much a toaster. Um, there's also a... I think there's a version on iOS as well. You can, like, get it on, like, iPhones. And it's great. It's... It, Okay. Oh, that went considerably better than last time. Ah, uh, water mechanics. Yeah, faster than light. It's a it's a game from a few years ago. It's not like terribly old. Oh. Ow. And um you're on this ship, you're you've got a little space map and you got to get from one side of the space map to the other. You, you can't really backtrack much because the enemy uh, rebel forces... Yeah, it's the, rebel, the rebels that are bad guys in that game. Uh, they're out to, like, kill you because you got, like, a... special secrets to, to their super weapon. And whenever you hit a different node on the map, you have, like, different... Um, encounters like it might be a shop there might be nothing there you might have someone with like some salvage or supplies or it might be an enemy and the uh, number of encounters on, on in that game just make it really fun to replay it is a roguelike though oh good got a little star thing back hmm. all right aha Dude's just kind of standing there, blocking doorways. Oh. What the hell are those green goblin-y things? Like, go go bother Spider-Man, you green goblin turds. All right. Whoa. Jump. Jump. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to leave the screen without getting that one candle. I like this map. It reminds me of... Uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which I only played like a couple minutes of. It's also on here, and holy shit, that is a quarter muncher from hell. That's one I can guarantee you I'm never completing. Okay. Yeah. It's one I'll probably like play on stream or something, see how far I can get in before I like... Just, just stop before I just absolutely cannot progress anymore. It'd be one of those kind of arcade day ones. Be kind of fun to like just poke around as a one-off, see how far I could get. Oh, oh, these mud men aren't playing around. The hell? Oh, gargoyles. Okay. Ah, oh, speaking of '90s things, I miss. Like, thanks for that, Disney. Um, loved that series. Ah. Then again, I love just about anything with uh, Keith David in it. He was the uh, voice actor for Goliath, also in uh, such wonderful movies as... Um, and I immediately go blank. He had a bit part in Armageddon and was in They Live with Roddy Piper, so... Yeah, he's, he's just fun. When, when he, wherever he's in something, he's just fun. Oh, probably should have waited for the third shot. In the world? Okay. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Play this a little bit more cautiously. Mm. 
Oh, up. Oh. He shoots low. Okay, got it. Oh, right, the two different heads are like two different levels. Okay. Weird. I have to wonder if these mud men are just some kind of golem or, or what. That's another thing I'm kind of in a bad habit into these games. I don't really check the bestiary often enough. Hmm. As is evidenced by the sheer number of times, I completely lost an enemy's name in Devil May Cry. Okay. Beware of falling rocks. Oh. Let's see. Monster Hunter World with Devil May Cry. Yes! Yeah. Didn't remember if I mentioned that yesterday, but yeah. It's nice that they're adding DMC uh, classic Dante attires to it, and not like a Ninja Theory Devil May Cry, because I don't know how well that would have gone over. Um, oh, wow. Guess I'm going to have to wait until I get my... Oh. What the hell? Well, I guess there's no turning back. And let's see. Duke Nukem Forever, yeah. Scrapped and restarted about ten times, and... It's ten. Six times. Um, I don't know how many times exactly myself uh, that, I, that I had really paid attention to, but there were some that had some considerable open-world elements that just... really... I think some of the earlier builds would have been much better than what finally came out. I mean, Gearbox... Oh, crap. Gearbox gets it and, well, they released it, but... I think the world kind of saw how that that's not necessarily a good thing. Whoop! Up. Oh. Kill it already. There we go. I have Duke Nukem Forever. It's, uh... Oh, the alley fight and they left. That was pretty epic. Um... Hmm. This is gonna suck. Oh. Yeah, I have Duke Nukem Forever. I actually... It's like I kind of like it for what it is, but then again, I didn't give much for it, and honestly, it's a game I don't think is worth more than... I don't I don't think at the time it was worth more than $30, because it was, it was a broken mess. It was a testament to as much as all of Unreal Engine, it was a testament to Unreal Engine done badly. Oh! Ooh! Because the pop-in was horrendous, really, really long, um, just tedious, boring levels. But, you know, felt alright just for some, some mindless shooting at the time, so I didn't really pay it much mind. But have I actually, like, paid for it and not traded some games that I really wasn't interested in anymore? Then I probably would have felt a bit more gypped. But I do think that even with as mediocre as it was, it didn't deserve like the the, the low, low ratings that it got. Um, anything below a 3, I think, was unwarranted. It did not deserve any higher than a 5, though. Out of out on a scale of 10, I should say. On a scale of 10. But yeah, I saw some uh, of the old videos of Duke Nukem Forever and... Yeah, Feature Creep being why it was restarted. That was one thing I, I saw being mentioned about it. So, thanks for that reminder. <laughs> um, I seem to remember some of the 3D Realms staff saying something to the effect that... Uh, God, what's the 3D Realms boss name? Uh, is George Brassard seeing something that he liked in other games and wanting it and deciding, yeah, let's scrap, like, half the game and put that in instead. And that, that was one of the things that really... really made the feature creep really bad. Oh. And then Gearbox gets it, and they basically get, like, a mediocre first-person shooter, which can't decide whether it was a uh, classic one or a modern one, because there is a lot of classic difficulty and a lot of classic tropes in gameplay, but then you have, like, only two weapons out at a time. And, obviously, the juvenile humor the media wasn't having any part of. Which is really kind of ass-backwards, in my opinion, but... Eh. 
But yeah, as much as I can, as much as I can cut it some slack, it really wasn't great. Oh, I think this game is really forgiving with how it handles corners, because I know I've hit a couple of these platforms on the corners a couple times, and I should have been dead. Oh. I'm trying to remember what games I traded off. I don't think either of them was Eternal Sonata, but I got the 360 version of Duke Nukem Forever. I know I had Eternal Sonata around the time that game came up. Oh yeah, Bleemcast, yeah, Tekken 3. Hmm. Excellent game. Oh, crap. What the... Ish, man. Cut it out. Oh, what the... Oh, what the... Okay. It's like I mentioned Gone earlier, and... Uh... <laughs> My brother hates Gone... And I, I really... It was a really dumb character he was, but, you know... Ooh, took a lot of health when I got touched by him. Oh. I do not want to get hit by that thing! Oh, there we go. There's some health. Ah, there we go. Oh, no! Okay. I can't imagine um, how how much better Tekken 3 would look on Bleemcast right off the top of my head. I know I know, I know, just about have to add anti-aliasing, and that's going to look great right there. Okay. The blocks fall. Oh! A little better. Alright. Recon run from earlier. That's what I'm gonna call failures, is recon runs. Oh. Oh! Maybe I just wasn't paying attention to my health, because I don't recall taking that... The... Alright. Oh. And that's something I might have to get when I get my uh, Dreamcast back, because, uh... I have my copy, my own copy. What the? Damn it, game. I have my own copy of Tekken 3. I wouldn't mind giving that a look. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, I can imagine the previous three uh, Castlevania games being pretty, pretty brutal. NES was kind of known for that. Uh, back in the days when games were either unforgiving because of needing to eat your quarters. We're needing to take a kid's time when, uh, when they were at home, so... Oh! Fishmen? Oh! So they do have... Oh. So, stay away from the fishmen, don't stay stationary. Okay. Stay... Save state feature, yeah, the, uh, reset button. Oh! Um, I tried not to use it much, um... When I was playing Yoshi's Island, I didn't, I didn't want to feel like I was cheating too much. But yeah, a game like this, that's nah, a little different. I might wind up using it um, more throughout this game. But I'm going to use it at the end of this session too because I would like to actually complete this game. But during the stream, uh, I'm not going to be using it during gameplay. Basically, the only reason I used it in Yoshi's Island was so I wouldn't have to, like, go back and get all those lives that I had. I had, like, a ridiculous number of lives. So that was what I would do, is I'd end my session in Yoshi's Island with a save state. Because it was really good for that. Okay, neither was Gran Turismo 2. I didn't know Metal Gear Solid had a Bleemcast disc. In that case, I have all three of the Bleemcast game's uh, original discs. So that's, um... Definitely gonna have to look into Bleemcast then, because that's pretty awesome. Oh. 
Oh, the hell? For Ben Stein! Oh, no, no! Oh, that was bad. I also wouldn't mind getting a copy of Gran Turismo 2 again. I don't play much. Oh my god! Yeah, if I just start, like, looping over and over again in these levels, then I might more aggressively use save states. But this is, this is like, my earth, earliest experience with this game, so I kind of want to acclimate first before I start getting to where I'm kind of iffy about using save states. Yeah, I... Yeah, Gran Turismo 2. I never play much in the way of uh, sim racing games. I mostly play, like, arcade -y stuff and goofy stuff. Like, Mario Kart would... Would be more up my alley, uh, Need for Speed, and I. So I, so I was kind of surprised how much I, w I liked Gran Turismo 2. I didn't care much for three, and four was a, a little different. Four was better, um, but that's the extent of my Gran Turismo experience. I haven't played one or five. I seem to remember trying to get a Miata into. I don't know why. Oh. Noodle Whip! Okay. Well, I don't have a weapon this time, so I can take that with, without worries. And speaking of the Dreamcast, um, yeah, I finally did place the order and almost forgot to buy the VMU, so... Might be a little while before I get any games for it, because, you know, money's always tight, but, uh... Oh, shoot. Oh. But I do want to get games for that and get started on that, and want to get Frame Bride pretty early. And despite some misgivings about Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I mean, Marvel vs. Capcom, the first one, 2 is on there as well, but don't think I'll be able to get that one. But despite some mis misgivings about that, yeah, I think my memory might just be terrible, and I just played in the hyper mode. So I might wind up getting Marvel vs. Capcom at some point. Whoa! Forgot about those things. Yeah, Gran Turismo 4. Yeah, it's one of the small handful of games that can run at a really high resolution on uh, PS2. Um, I don't think any of them can run it in 1080p, but there were a few that could run at 720p, and a very small few that could run at 1080, one of which was that jackass game for some reason, which... Okay. My Life in Gaming on YouTube. Hmm. Seems like I'm going to be taking some notes soon. Oh, moving! Crap! Oh well. Should have got that on the way over instead of on the way back. Because falling bridges fall. But I was kind of keen on trying Gran Turismo 5, and then I heard something about they had microtransactions in there, so... Ah. Gonna have to do some research on there, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be giving that one a pass almost entirely. Oh, please. I don't even know if I stay alive long enough for those hearts to matter, but it's not going to stop me from getting them. Okay, whoop. Let's see. You! Speaking of hearts. Okay, yep. Okay. Always get tense and parts like those. Bionic Commando Rearmed just taught me the meaning of pain with with, with the swinging mechanic, so I, I'm gonna get a little tense every time I'm on one of these. Whoop! But what would, uh, the 360 version was the one that I got, and I think it was the one that had the longest load times. Oh! I meant to... I was trying to get back to that platform. Okay. Okay. 
Oh boy. Castlevania, where even the weeds are trying to kill you. Oh! Headshot! Tickle this guy to progress, and woo! Was this hearts or yeah, it's a heart. Okay. Oh man, EA Sports. I forgot that BioWare was still a company. Uh, on the note of EA Sports, I was uh, reading up on. Uh, a little bit about Bioware earlier. I remember them being involved in Dragon Age, and I wanted to see if they'd done anything recently, working on some game called Anthem that I kind of skimmed before I actually got on stream. But yeah. Can't say I've played a lot of Bioware games, but, you know, as far as RPG guys go... They're some of the best, from what I understand. So, whenever they finally make a game that EA is not confident in its sales, it's going to be sad to see them go, because that's exactly what's going to happen. Ugh. And I'm going to be pissed, because I have good memories of Neverwinter Nights, in spite of never finishing the game. I admittedly never did complete that. Oh. Multi-headed dragon. Oh. oh! Almost missed the bat. Glad the bat missed me. I also forgot the uh, SNES Classic has a rewind feature. I hope to never use that on stream. <laughs> oh. Ooh. And okay, Lefty Lucy or Let's see. Okay. I, what? Please tell me that I didn't... Oh, no. I... I... What the hell just happened? It was... It's funny that this should come up right as I mentioned the rewind feature, and, um... Yeah, if, if, if anything like that happens again, I'm using the rewind feature, but for now, this loop, I'm just gonna take the hard way. Oh. Oh. Canceled Dreamcast games. Okay. Uh, no. Those guys with their water cutters or water jets. Okay. Okay, are these fishmen just going to infinitely spawn here? Oh. I mean, I'm not going to find out because I'm going to keep progressing, but... Damn it! I... I say, and then I immediately fall to my death? Okay. Agatha. Okay, whoa, what the... Can't say I have heard of that. Oh. Okay. Oh. That, that was a very bad jump. Oh my god. Okay, let these old columns fall? Is that all of them? Okay. Advance. This is a game that if it was in arcades, yeah, I'm sure it would take all the quarters.
Oh. From my limited time with Super Metroid, it the music really does give me a Metroid vibe when I'm out and about. Okay. Up. One spot. I keep forgetting that's a knife. Ugh, whatever. Moving on. Taste my death noodle. Let's see. How quickly can you get through this part? Because it's already coming up on five. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Okay, that's new. I don't remember seeing him when I was coming through here, but I remember going that way. Okay. Okay, ooh. What the hell? Oh! Okay, so that was some kind of bomb. I mean, I should have figured as much with the cross on it, but... I have to look up the digital manual to this. Oh, what the? So that I actually know a little bit more about what I'm doing. Oh, games that never were. Oh man, that's gonna make me sad. Because I'm already thinking about Scalebound, and I know there's so many better games that didn't quite cut the mustard. guy before he becomes a nuisance. If this thing's actually hitting him. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's hitting him from the... Oh, there we go. There we go. A couple hits. His hitbox is closer to his head. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of hearts. Yeah, I can't ignore that. Okay. Nope. Stupid buzzard. Yeah, he knew he knew what was up though. Okay. I, what the Ooh. Okay, now let's see if I can bomb these guys like I did before or Oh. Oh, yeah, there goes. Not quite the same, but close enough. Oh, and yeah. So far I'm liking what I'm seeing of this game. I'm sorry I'm a little short on comments here, but... I was actually expecting a bit more, and uh, to be a bit shorter on comments, given... I expect games from the late 80s and early 90s to be a bit brutal, so... My focus... Is so heavily onto this game. Well, that and, you know, kind of checking out the details. Oh, what the? Oh, that was bad. Oh, boy. If I have to restart from the beginning of this... Oh. Well, I know what the challenge of this stage is going to be. Okay. Well, it's already on five, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and continue to my next game over, because I'm getting a good way in, but it's like it's like little mistakes that, that I keep making that, that have uh, big consequences. So I want to see how far I can get with this next game over.
Yeah, I can kind of cruise through this early part. Oh. Well, I can now, anyway. Oh. I say that and immediately get hit. Okay, Battle Axe. Another weapon I'm not going to use often enough. Oh, okay. See, now I'm kind of wondering with that arc and how this weapon works, how many times you can use the axe. <laughs> Experimentation time! Because I haven't used weapons enough in this stream, so... Oh! Oh! Okay, I need to stay back from those rocks and let them just finish out. Okay. Okay, back to this part and another awesome weapon. If I can get it, let's see. Let's do this. Yes, got it. Take the heart. Yeah, if I can just blitz by some of these guys, I'm just going to do that because this is... This is brutal. I mean, it's not Contra, thank God. Oh. Which is also on here, uh, Super Contra. Yeah, that's the one that would totally make an Arcade Day stream. Oh. Noodle. Give me the... Give me the hookup. Whoa. Like I kind of want a ice beam and and a splazer for that thing. Oh. Yeah, I know, wrong game, but you know, can't blame a guy for for wishful thinking there. Okay. There's that. Oh, good. I didn't screw up and accidentally gra grab a weapon I don't want. Should really be trying more weapons as I get that. Whoa. Oh. Little mistakes. Just releasing a little too early. Whoop. Man, I love this guy's walk animation too. He's just got that, you know, one big old fist up there each step. You know, it's like, uh, he's got that w l walk to him. He's like, I've had enough of your shit. He's always standing with that one fist out in a fighting game pose. Simon here knows what's up. Okay, let's see. Yep, yep. Hop, hop, hop. Double quick bunny hops. Yeah, a couple quick runs through this area make all the. Whoa! No! Oh! Yeah, a couple quick runs through this area make all the difference, and you can get a little bit of lost progress back pretty quick. But you know, then I turn at the one wrong time. I hate the idea that if I if I complete this game, I, I don't want to use the rewind function. I don't. Because I want to feel cheap for doing it. Okay. Whoop. I love the graphics in this game. I really do. For for a Super Nintendo game, they they make excellent use of the parallax backgrounds and these these transparencies on the waterfalls. Oh. Duck, duck. Transparency being something that even Super Mario World had trouble with. I mean, there I, I watched a whole video on how in a couple areas Mario World handled transparency. In one scene where they had uh, transparency, it wasn't actually transparency. It was pretty cool. They had um, basically a bunch of holes in the sprite, little transparent holes, but it wasn't like a... The actual sprite itself was transparent, it just was Swiss cheese. 
They had a better explanation in the video than, you know, okay. I'm clearly not giving it any, doing it any justice, but, oh. Yeah, Mario World, they did some good things with that. Oh. And now you have people with Mario World, World editing stuff, free Super Mario Maker, and making ridiculous challenges to them. Mm. Now there's a use for uh, emulators right there, for, for anyone in doubt, you know. It's like, I've already played this game to death. How am I going to rip the shit out of it? And someone makes a ridiculous level. Oh, I need to get the YouTube link to that sometime. Oh, what was it? Oh. It's done to a bunch of like anime and video game themes. And it's a really old video. Okay, that's not good. I think the video, the original version of the video is taken down, but it was like a 2012 thing. Probably a little bit earlier. It was like early YouTube stuff. I know I've got it bookmarked somewhere. Oh. In fact, I think I will try and remember to put that in the link to this video when I post it on YouTube. Because I'm trying to be better about uh, posting little tidbits and uh, links to other content in my, my videos, you know, because there's there's so much stuff out there that I've seen that, that I see mentioned here in the chat, you know, stuff needs attention. It's fun stuff. Those uh, games that never were, I want to check that out now. Caught up on all the Team Four Stars videos, you know, none of the shows I want to watch. Are, oh, right. I forgot about those guys. I've only got two lives left. Oh, noodles. Ooh, oh, that was close. Oh, and stairs? Alright, now back to this part. Okay. Get this clubber dude here. You? Oh, come on. There he goes. Ah. Uh, death from below. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay, this part. This is this is kind of tense. Oh yeah, bio I missed that comment on BioWare making Baldur's Gate. Um I can't remember what their in, their uh, involvement in the Enhanced Edition was. But, uh, yeah, there's an Enhanced Edition of that, and they're working on an Enhanced Edition of Neverwinter Nights. Which I saw some videos of it, and, you know, on the surface it doesn't look really all that impressive. But the idea is that it apparently, for one, brings the game up to working properly on modern systems. And, I think, phones. And for two, um, it allows like the use of oh, the use of modern graphical flair for like mods and stuff. So you can it, it should be oh, and it works with the uh, old mods as well. Oh, oh, yeah. So it's kind of like a update. Uh, it's like a minor up visual update with some other new features as well as a platform for, for new modding opportunities. Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition is just like an excuse for me to actually pick that up and play it. Okay, come on. Ah, there we go. Oh boy, I'm up to my last life. Yeah, as soon as I game over here, then I'm gonna have to go on ahead and call the stream. But I know exactly where I'm gonna save because I'm not, I'm not starting from the beginning of this and, and just getting right back here each time I play. Oh, All right, come on, little snake dude. Whatever the hell you are, little bone serpent. 
Ah. Okay. Okay, that's... These are new. Holy crap, that was a lot of health. Okay. Make this real quick. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's gonna be one of these kind of things. What the... Oh, the dr here's the dragon. Okay. I am out of range. Let's see what his attacks are. So, three-way fire breath on one head, at least. Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't see myself beating him this stream. Okay, what have we got? He's got the down breath. Uh Whoa, that's not good. Uh, oh my god, that was so dumb. <sighs> well, I know where this boss is. Oh. Yeah, that's that was that was bad. Uh <laughs> Well, I know where I'm picking up from next time when I start, because it is, ooh, a little bit late for some of my at-home tasks. Yeah, I'm going to go on ahead and continue and pause that real quick so I can mute the Elgato, because Nintendo and their copyright claim crap. I don't want them to copyright claim this when the audio goes up on YouTube. Okay. Because I know they have algorithms for that. What the? No signal. The hell? Oh, don't screw with me. What? 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 It didn't. A message is being... Okay. Okay, yeah, I... Ooh. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to allow that, that auto-mod thing. i got to work on that. Okay, yeah, I'll uh, see you next time. Um, I'll be back with a little bit more Armored Core 2 next weekend. And in, during the week, yeah, this thing just went nuts on me. I'm going to play back to that part during the week. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to play back to that part, and then I'm going to save right there, because this thing just did something I've never seen it do. So, pounding nails through Dracula's dick in a week. That is a thing I want to do. Oh, that is the first time this thing has ever failed me. SNES Classic. How can you do this to me? Ah. Uh, ah, well, whatever. But that was... Super Castlevania 4. Now I am going to go on ahead and kill this stream and, I don't know, pry into my coffee for that system failure. <sighs> See you next time.